Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. And today, I want to talk about what stock market volatility really means and how it relates to the current stock market. So market volatility is a pretty simple concept, but it's one that every single investor should really understand because it gets tossed around a lot. Um, so let me explain. Volatility realistically just means how much a market is moving around compared to normal, right? So it's sort of like what's normal and you compare it on a short period of time or a long period of time, you might come up with different answers about where the market is. But volatility is measured against a standard of, of, uh, of the market. So if a, something is more volatile than the market normally is, then we say it's volatile, right? Something's less volatile than it's not volatile. Um, so an example of volatility would be in a, in a particular stock might be that um, a tech stock that is, is pretty new to the market might really move up and down very, very fast, depending on what each quarter is all about. Investors are jumping in, they're jumping out, compared to the stock market just going along sideways. So we'd say that stock is much more volatile. Now, there's another measure of volatility that is designed to be a measure created by the amount of money and activity in the, in, in the options market. And that measure of volatility is called the VIX or volatility index. And it is a measure of how much over the last month option prices are moving because options could be seen as a kind of leveraged view of risk in the market. So there's the other definition of volatility. Volatility traditionally by academics is thought of as risk. That is the more volatility, the more risk. Now, how do you calculate it? I don't know. There's, there's some serious math going on to calculate volatility. And it is used all the time uh, by academics who are teaching how to understand business value uh, by looking at the risks you take to get a stock that's like that tech stock going to go up a lot more, maybe, or go down a lot more. So there are some wonderful calculations of volatility. We're not going to get into those right now. What we really need to understand is what do we think about it, right? What does volatility do for a rule one style investor? Now, contrary to what you might think, um, we actually like volatility. Um, it's a really strange phenomenon. I mean, we, as by definition, rule one investors are all about not losing money. So in a way, we're anti-volatile. We don't want volatility, meaning we don't want to see our money drop to nothing and then rise up, you know, uh, like some entrepreneur might by having a business that fails and you have a business that succeeds and have a business that fails. We, we, rule one investors don't like losing money, and yet we love volatility. Now, how can that be? The reason is that volatility, as I said, can create fear. It is actually thought of as a risk calculation. And so if fear is getting created, you guys, what that means for us is that we may have opportunities to buy wonderful companies that otherwise would never be available to us at the right price. In other words, we need volatility in order to be a successful investor. This is something that isn't taught in investing. It just isn't taught. Volatility is considered a factor of risk. Risk is considered dangerous. Dangerous is don't do it. Um, and so people go to great lengths to calculate volatility and create low volatile portfolios. What we look to do, we don't believe that volatility is necessarily related to risk. We think risk is related to how much you know or don't know. So for example, if you were to take a journey, uh, I know none of you are going to work right now, but if you were to go to work in your car, you're probably not taking a trip that you would consider, you know, death defying or something, right? You know, you're going to get there um, almost with certain, with, with total certainty, you know, obviously something can happen, but basically you're, you're certain you're going to get to work. Now, if you take that same journey in that same car, same vehicle, same, same, path of travel, but you have your 11 year old nephew drive you, then you're almost certain not to get to work, right? Unless they're somehow grew up on a farm and not a drive. So they're not going to get you there. You are going to crash. So volatility is more about the knowledge of the person driving the car than anything else, right? So when it comes to investing, 
what we want or risk rather is more about the person driving the car so what we want to know as an investor is are there some companies that we can understand well enough that we know the value of that business and when it goes on sale as a result of volatility in the market in general or in that particular industry or whatever puts that company on sale we know we can buy it now here's the beauty here's the beauty is that if we buy that company on sale and if we buy it in successive tranches or slices as the stock price moves down deeper and deeper into the margin of safety price if we do that we end up with a really lovely price on this company and very likely it's not going to go down further very likely it's reached the bottom and very likely to go up from then on so when that happens then you may be seeing movement up and there may still be volatility in that stock in terms of how they do the math but my gosh it's all one direction all up and that's the volatility we love so we love volatility when it's coming down because it gets us stuff on sale we love volatility when it's going up because it doubles our money in three years that works for us so i hope you guys are understanding that we can use this volatile stock market right now as a way to get very very rich or get richer or start to build a lovely retirement if only we're comfortable investing in volatility now i'd love to hear from you guys what other terms would you like to know more about or would you like to know more about volatility leave your comment below with your answer i'll be sure to follow up with you thanks for watching you guys now go play hey guys if you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you more about stock market volatility just hit the like button and share the video with your friends and if you want more investing content subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift Thanks again for watching.